Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Ron. It's so nice to see you. I'm glad you could make it. And um, I know you're probably stuck at home, so we're going to do some art. And um, I know I have a bunch of you that I'd like to say hi to that are in my class, like Emily and Sophia and Artie and Lida, Lila, mm -hmm. sorry, Lila, Madeline, Thomas, and Isabel. And in my afternoon class, I'd like to say hi to William, Henry, Max, um, Nicholas, Jack, Lillian, who am I missing? Um, shoot. Um, oh, Katie, Quinn, and Alice, and Rosie, Sophie, and Taylor. So, hi to you all. Hope you're having fun. I'm going to start with a painting first. The painting is going to be kind of like we do the big paintings, but this will be a small one. We'll need these acrylic paints I have here. I have light blue, light green, green, dark green. Then I have purple, yellow, and pink. Now, what we're going to paint today are flowers. And the kind of flowers we're going to paint are tulips. I love tulips. If you walk around town or you drive around town, you'll see these tulips popping up right now. They're very colorful. The great thing about these tulips is that they pop up every year at the same time in the spring. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, my cameraman will move around here. Go ahead and hand me the camera. Camera woman. Thank you. Okay. So I have um, taped down uh, a piece of paper. This is watercolor paper, but you can use any paper. I've taped the edges, so if your mom or dad wants to do that, it'll leave a nice, clean, crisp edge and border to it when we're done. So first off, we're going to start with the light blue. I'm going to put a little bit of light blue in there, and this is going to be our sky. Okay, so I've got a brush here, the kind of brush we use at the school. If you happen to have this, you can almost use any kind of brush, but this is the best kind right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that sky in. And remember how we put skies in? We go back and forth, back and forth, over. There we go. Let's get all of it in there. Go back and forth over the sky here. So I like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to kind of clean off my brush a little bit. I don't need to wash it yet, but I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to smear in the sky. Okay, see how I'm doing that? I'm getting a much better sky this way. So I'm going to bring that down to about halfway. See how this is halfway? and you can even take a little bit of water and a little bit of water and it'll take out some of that blue and leave a nice sky. Okay, so now I'm kind of done with my sky and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my brush I'm going to put in my greens. This is going to be the garden behind the... I'm just going to pop in a little bit of paint onto my paper. And I'm going to pop in the darker green. So it's going to be kind of a mix. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to move that around. I'm just going to... See how I'm using the side of the brush? I'm just going to put that in. And I'm going to go up to the sky. So it looks like a garden in there. And the only thing we're missing at this point are the flowers, right? So we're going to do that in just a second. Let me get the rest of this. Now this is looking nice. I'm going to get this garden in here. 
Okay. Now, um, now that I'm just about done, it's a little bit too wet to put in my flowers yet. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my painting over here. Um, cameraman, can you help me? Um, I'm going to take this painting that you see and I'm going to take it over here and you may you may recognize this but this recognize this so I'm going to dry that remember got to get that hair dry my, my hair takes a long time to dry there we go So this will take a minute or so. Now, if you don't have a hair dryer, don't worry. You can just let it rest and sit for about 10 minutes and it'll dry on its own. You can go have a snack or watch some TV and then come back and start painting. So here we go. I'm gonna start to put the flower in. And okay, we're just about ready. Okay, so have my garden in. Now I want to put the flowers in. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take, I today, you can put any color of tulips. You, they come in all different colors. But today I'm going to use yellow. I'm going to use pink. There's my pink. Here's my yellow. And I'm going to use purple. Okay. So, okay. So now I have all three of my colors. I'm going to start with the, I'm going to start with the pink, I think. That's going to be fun. So I'm just using the side of my brush like this, and I'm just going to go pop like that. Pop like that pop like that and see the shape of that is like a tulip flower okay you'll see that if you drive around town you'll see these tulips they're really pretty and they like I said they always pop up every year at the same time okay so I'm gonna put in maybe one more because I want to leave room for for my other flowers right okay so that now I have my pink tulips in now what I want to do, I'm going to wipe this off, and I'm going to put in my purple tulips. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put in one right there. Let's put them down a little bit lower. Let's put them kind of, you can put these wherever you want, okay? it's This is just... This is your little world and your little garden, so you can have these growing wherever you want, okay? I learned that from a friend of mine. Well, one of my favorite artists was Bob Ross, and he would always create his own little world. Okay, so I've got enough of those in, I think. I'm going to put in some of my yellow tulips, okay? So let's put those in. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go pop like that. Let's put one in right here. Let's put a really big one right in the front. Okay. Now, 
as I get lower, I want to put the bigger flowers in front because they're closer to us. If something is closer to us, it's going to be bigger, right? If something runs off far into the distance, it gets tiny. It gets really small. So we're going to put the bigger flowers up front. Okay. Okay, now I think I'm just about done here. Let's put one more yellow one in right here. Okay. Now, by the way, Bob Ross is one of my, my favorite artists of all time is Claude Monet, also John Singer Sargent. So if you ask your parents to look up paintings from Claude Monet or John Singer Sargent, you'll see some incredible paintings, beautiful paintings. And if you ever get a chance to go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, you can see the actual paintings that they painted over a hundred years ago. You'll get to see them there. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to put the stems in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm this is I'm putting this on a flat piece of paper. These this is the light green. That, those are going to be the stems to our flowers, right? Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to use the handle of my brush. Okay, so let's do that. Let's let's really get it nice and full of paint. And I'm just going to tap it down on the side like this. Okay. Now, see that? So all I need to do is just kind of tap it down. That's a good one. That's good. So now I'm just getting the light green. These are all of my little, all these flowers have what we call stems. That's what holds them up. That's like what goes down into the dirt, right? That's that's how they pop up with these stems. So now I'm just going to put a few more of those in. Okay. Maybe a couple more. Let's get these. Let's get this one on the side over here. We need to get him in there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, maybe one more over here. There we go. Okay, so now my stems are done. That's done. All that's left to do is to take the tape off, which is the fun part. Do it very slowly and carefully. You've seen me do this in class. Pull away from the painting so you don't rip it. But I'm just going to... Oh, this one's really stuck on here. Okay, so now... Oops. Careful. Oh, I have my assistant in here helping me. My assistant is really Mrs. Ron. Mary. Okay. Hi, kiddies. Yep. How are there, you? There she is. See, that's the voice that goes with those hands that are holding this. Okay. Okay. And then I also think that Miss Mary is also wearing the perfect outfit for today's art. You know why? She has on <laughs> she has on a pink sweatshirt. Say hi. Okay. Whoops. Did she get any paint on her? Yeah, probably. Okay, so now we are done. So this is the final right here. And I'm going to, if you want to know what I'm doing while I'm not in class with you guys, this, I work on my paintings at home. And here's some of my paintings. This one is one I did a while ago right there. This one I'm just about done with. It's a baseball player and I need to finish the bat and I need to put a number on the back of his jersey. This is one I did a long time ago of three golfers. And this one I just finished last week right there. So that's it for me today. Have a great day, and I hope you love art. Have fun.